If you've been struggling with anterior pelvic tilt and want to learn how to fix it, then you've come to the right place. Today, I'm going to show you what anterior pelvic tilt is, some tests to see if you have it, and then I'm going to give you a routine that you can start implementing today to fix this posture problem. If this is your first time on this channel, I'm Alexis from FlexusFitness.com, and I'm a personal trainer and movement coach with over six years of experience in the health and fitness industry. Flexus Fitness is a community of women who believe that fitness isn't only about looking in shape, but it's actually about being in shape. And at Flexus Fitness, everything that we do is backed up by science to guarantee real results and make sure that we're trained smart and injury free for a lifetime to come. So if you're into wanting to learn how to train smart and get the most out of your workouts, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I post new videos daily. Before we get into what can be done to fix anterior pelvic tilt, let's first understand what it is and what causes it. So anterior pelvic tilt is when your, your pelvis is tipped forward. So it's in a forward position, so you kind of resemble Donald Duck. So your hips are pushed back causing your abdomen to protrude and stick out forward, and this causes an excessive arch in your lower back. So this can result in other pains in your body, such as lower back pains, tightness in your hamstrings, tightness in your hips. So having your pelvis in, the, in this position for a while could really cause other things to go wrong with your posture. There are many things that can be causing you to get into this position in the first place, mainly spending the majority of your day sitting down, especially if you're sitting down in a tearily pelvic tilted position. This is one of the main leading causes in today's society. Another thing could be if you're overarching your lower back during exercise, specifically during squats and deadlifts. It could also be that you might have some muscle imbalances to correct, specifically in your glutes. And the last thing could be you might just be built this way. So it could be simply the bone structure of your pelvis. As a result of all of this, your abdominals and glutes become weak and underactive and your hip flexors become overactive to pick up the slack for those weak muscles. So there are two things that you're going to need to do to address both of these issues. You're going to want to stretch out those overactive hip flexors and you're going to want to focus on strengthening those underactive and weak glutes and abdominals. But before we get into the specific routine that will address these two issues, let's first take a look at how we posteriorly tilt our pelvis to make sure that you're getting into the correct position during the stretches and exercises that I'm about to show you. So what I'm going to show you here are lying pelvic tilts and this will allow you to practice putting your pelvis in that posteriorly tilted position. So you're going to start off by lying down on your back, feet flat and knees bent, and you could just lay your hands by your side. So you're gonna start off by overarching your lower back. So as you can see here, I'm creating a bunch of space between my lower back and the ground. This is anterior pelvic tilt. This is what we're trying to fix. So now you wanna think about squeezing your glutes, tucking your hips under, and pressing your lower back into the ground. This is posterior pelvic tilt. So this is the position you wanna get into. So just repeat this, go over it slowly, and do about 10 reps. So do two sets of 10 reps to really allow yourself to understand the position and get used to it. Now that we've gone over what causes you to get into this position and how to reverse it by posteriorly tilting your pelvis, let's take a look at those stretches that will help you stretch those tight muscles, your hip flexors. So there are three stretches that I'm gonna be demonstrating. The first one is the psoas stretch. So this is one that you've probably seen before, but it's often not done properly because people forget to posteriorly tilt their pelvis. So you're gonna place yourself in a lunge position. So one, uh, one leg forward, the other one behind you. And in this stretch, we're focusing on stretching the leg that's behind you. So you're gonna start off by posteriorly tilting your pelvis. So remember, you wanna think about tucking your hips under. And just by doing that, you might already feel a stretch in your hip flexors. So you're gonna feel a stretch along your thigh. Now from here, if you wanna deepen the stretch, you could focus on moving, driving your knee forward. So as you do this, again, you wanna make sure that you're staying in a posteriorly tilted position. You don't wanna allow your, um, your back to arch. So again, I'm just gonna show it one more time. You're gonna focus on posteriorly tilting, feel that stretch, and from here, if you need to deepen that stretch, move forward and back and focus on going further forward each time. 
So you'll want to hold this position for two minutes on each leg. So now the next two stretches that I'm going to show you are done against the wall. So the first one targets your quads, so it lengthens your quad muscle. And the second one really focuses on targeting your hip flexors and lengthening those. So this is called the wall stretch, but you can also do it against the couch. So if you're watching TV and want to do it against your couch, feel free to do it that way too. But for video purposes, I'm going to show you against the wall. So you're going to start off by placing your foot against the wall. You want to make sure that your toes are pointed up. And from here, and my knee is directly pressed against the wall. From here, I'm going to bring my left leg out in front of me. So I'm in that lunge position, and I'm going to place my hands in the middle. And at here, I just want to focus on rocking my hips back and forth. So I'm just slowly warming up. Could already feel that stretch. And then what you're going to want to do, so you're going to do this for about 30 seconds. And then the next thing you want to do is you're going to focus on squeezing that right glute. So you, remember, we're stretching out your right leg here. You're going to focus on squeezing that right glute, taking a deep breath in, and sinking your hips down forward and breathing out. And you're going to feel a bunch of tension. As you breathe out, you just want to release all that tension in your quad. And then again, deep breath in, squeeze that glute, sink the hips down. So you can see I'm creating space between my hamstring and my heel as I'm progressing in this stretch. So you're going to want to do this for two minutes on each side. So again, just repeat, you're going to focus on moving your hips back and forth for the first 30 seconds. And then you want to take your time on taking three deep breaths in and out to release all that tension. Now the next stretch that we're going to do is a progression to this one. So for this next one, you could hold something. Um, I like to use a foam roller, or you could hold the side of a chair or a couch. So again, you're gonna place your uh, knee against the wall, foot against the wall, bring that other leg out. From here, you're gonna think about bringing your back against the wall. Now I can't go, I can't bring my back into this position completely because I have such tight hip flexors, but I'm working on it. So I'm going to bring my, my glute towards my heel and focus on lifting my back up. Key thing here is I want to get into that posterior uh, pelvic tilted position. So I'm going to think about tucking the hips under, keep it engaging my core, and hold it here. And right away, I feel that stretch. I, uh, along my quad, but mostly in my upper quad, my hip flexor. So again, you would want to hold this position for two minutes, taking deep breaths in and out. So focus on taking a total of 10 breaths in that two minutes. So those are the three stretches that will help you release any tension in your quads and hip flexors and lengthen those muscles to help with that posterior pelvic tilt because these are the muscles that are tight and are tilting your pelvis forward. Next, I'm going to go over the strengthening exercises to strengthen your glutes and abdominals. So the first thing that we're going to do is the glute bridge. So for this one, you're going to start off in the same position as you did for the pelvic tilt at the beginning. So you want your feet flat on the ground. You're going to lie down on your back, hands by your side, and you're going to focus on pressing that lower back into the ground. So you're going into that posterior pelvic tilt. And from here, you're simply gonna raise your, your hips up. And each time, e through each rep, you wanna focus on pressing your lower back into the ground to get into that posterior pelvic tilt. Thrust your hips up, squeeze those glutes, hold it there for two to three seconds to really try to engage those muscles. You'll want to do three sets of 10 reps. Next up, I'm going to show you the plank to help you strengthen your abdominal muscles to help you with that anterior pelvic tilt. So for the plank, the plank is great because you're going to be strengthening your abdominals, but it's also going to force you to squeeze your glutes and really get into that posterior pelvic tilt. So remember, you always want to focus on that when you're trying to fix uh, anterior pelvic tilt. So you're going to be placing your hands beneath your shoulders and you're going to Twist your elbows toward the back of the room. 
So I'm really squeezing my triceps, the up, upper part of my arms. And from here, I'm gonna walk my feet backwards and bring them together. So I'm bringing my toes together. I'm gonna lift my hips higher than they should be, squeeze my glutes and tuck that bum under. So I'm getting into that posterior pelvic tilt. And I'm really engaging my core here. So I'm squeezing my core. As you could probably see, I'm already shaking. So I'm really creating tension throughout my whole body. So you'll want to hold this position for 30 seconds and you'll want to do three sets. So you can combine this with the glute bridges. So you could superset them. You could do 10 reps of the glute bridge, then directly into 30 seconds of the plank and switch them as you uh, go along. So as you can see, the beauty about all this is that it can be done in the comfort of your own home. So we start off by stretching out our hip flexors because those are the tight muscles that are tilting your pelvis forward. And then we went on to strengthen our glutes and abdominals with the glute bridge and the plank. So keep in mind, just like anything else that you're trying to improve, consistency is key. So try to be mindful throughout your day about your posture, especially when you're standing or doing exercises such as squats and deadlifts. You really want to focus on getting that posterior pelvic tilt to make sure that you're in the proper position to protect your lower back. If you haven't checked out already, I have a video called How to Squat where I go over how to get into the proper position for a squat. So be sure to go check that out because getting into the proper position will not only allow you to feel a difference during the exercise, but will also allow you to work the right muscles and get the results that you're after. So try your best to do this routine daily and you'll start noticing the changes. And you can even do it in front of the TV while you're watching TV instead of sitting down on the couch. Also, if you have any friends or coworkers who feel like they have this problem too, feel free to send this video to them so that they can fix it as well. That's it for today. Don't forget, if you have any questions about anything that we discussed in this video, feel free to comment below or reach out to me. I'm here to help you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for new videos posted daily. I'll see you tomorrow.